Welcome to the Getting Started with Rumpus screencast. In the next few minutes, I'll show you just how easy it is to set up a Rumpus file transfer server. I'll be installing a brand new Rumpus server and transferring files from both FTP clients and standard web browsers. I've downloaded a copy of Rumpus from the Maxim server, but haven't done any other installation or setup work. So the first thing I'll do is copy the Rumpus application to the local hard drive. The Applications folder is usually the best spot for Rumpus, but for now, I'll just drop it onto the desktop. Next, I'll simply launch Rumpus, which automatically opens the Setup Assistant to guide us through initial installation and setup. First, I'm asked to choose a primary FTP folder for the server. While individual users can be assigned unique content folders on the system, a top-level FTP root folder will act as a default content area. For now, the default shared folder will be fine. Next, I'll create an initial user account. User accounts will allow you to specify a username and password for each person that will be given access to the server. Accounts can be customized with different access permissions, content folders, and other options, but the Setup Assistant will simply create an example account to get us started. I'll supply a name and password for the account and move on. In addition to traditional FTP services, Rumpus also includes a web file transfer server called the Web File Manager. I'll accept the default settings to enable the WFM and complete the installation. Once the Rumpus application has completed the server installation, a sheet drops down with instructions for connecting to the server using either an FTP client or web browser. Once I've reviewed this information, I'll close the sheet and then start the server by clicking the Start Server button. That's it! Rumpus has now turned the Mac into a fully functional FTP and web file transfer server. Let's move to another computer on the network and test it out. Rumpus actually allows clients to connect in three different ways, through traditional FTP, web browser, or web dev. Most remote clients will use either FTP or web browser, and we'll start with FTP. I'll launch Fetch, a popular FTP client for the Mac. To establish a connection, Fetch prompts me for the server address and a user account name and password. I'll enter the address of the server, which was displayed on the connection info sheet by Rumpus, and the user account name and password I entered when completing the setup assistant. Fetch connects to the server and begins the FTP session. The folder is blank, of course, so I'll upload new files. FTP clients can be used to perform most general file management tasks. For example, I can delete a file, Create a folder, move down into the new folder, and upload additional content. For now, I'll quit Fetch, ending the FTP session. and log in using a web browser. To connect, I'll again enter the server's IP address. A login page is displayed asking for my user account name and password. Once I've supplied the name and password, I'm again logged into the server. Notice that the content I'm given access to is exactly the same as it was through FTP. The files I uploaded are all here, as is the folder I created a minute ago. And again, I can perform common file operations like downloading files, moving into subfolders, and uploading files.
That's it. In just a few minutes, I've installed and configured a fully functional FTP server with web file transfer services built in and ready to go. If you haven't tried Rumpus yourself yet, download the free fully functional demonstration copy now. Getting started takes only a few minutes and evaluating Rumpus and reviewing all it has to offer is easy.